Hello, this is episode 4 to nothing to everything. Here's my inventory for those who are curious about it. So as I said in the first video, every time I will be getting a Crypt Blade, I will be giving it away to a viewer. Now all you have to do to have a chance to win it is be subscribed to the channel and comment what is your favorite legendary in Deep Woken and why is it so. So the first trade we're going to do today is a Gale Hero Blade for a Fairyman Coat, a Bloodless Gem, and a 3 star damage Cruelian Knife. Now like I said, I will be trying to trade these kind of quick and hopefully get most of the value I can out of them. So I am trying to get Grands and a lot of other miscellaneous things that I know I can flip for decent profit afterwards also. So for the next trade up, I am doing a Shadow Hero Blade for a Shattered Katana with Blazing and a Stoneheart. Now, I don't believe I'll get much out of the Stoneheart worthwise for trading, but I do know a lot of people do like Shattered Katanas, especially Enchanted. So I hope I can get most of the worth out of the Shattered Katana. So the next trade up is a Fire Hero Blade for a Rosen Peacekeeper with Heroism. A random armor enchant and a bounder claw. Now I do hope to get the most out of the bounder claw and the Rosen Peacekeeper here and the armor enchant is just a little additive. So the next trade up is a simple exchange of hero blades however I am giving a zero star fire hero blade and he is exchanging it for a one star damage shadow hero blade. Now I didn't record the next trade but it was a very weird clip anyway because it was me just leaving and rejoining the server waiting for this guy to get on because unfortunately he did have a lot of scam vouchers so I only decided to do the trade while I was in FF. Now he did agree and we did do the trade but I did get a 1 star weight grand for a 0 star fire hero blade. So for the next trade we got it is another grand for a shadow hero blade. Now, unfortunately, I do think we're not going to make nearly as much as I thought we were on these Hero Blades profit-wise. However, I do think we will get a few net positives as long as we get a few more starred weapons from this. However, I am just asking for Rails and Grands, so we might not be getting those. So for the next trade here, I am doing a Flame Hero Blade for a Rail Blade. For those who are curious, when I am trading these, my post is just I'm trading hero blades for grands and rails, not really specifying stars on mine or their items. So for the next trade, I was talking to this guy for a very long time, and we did settle on two deep crushers with two stars and two enchants for a singular shadow hero blade. Now, the reason why I accepted this is because I was talking to this guy for over an hour about this trade. So it's been about a day or two since I was last trading. This was because I got a bit burnt out because I was doing nothing but trading for a couple days. So getting back to trading here, I did do a enchant for a two star pin serrated war spear. All right guys, I finally found someone else looking for a thunder hero blades. So I went ahead and did that for two enchants, but for a little background information about these, now, the only Hero Blades that are selling incredibly well are Gale, Fire, and Shadow, being Shadow and Fire being the top two at the moment. So I did just find a really good deal. It is Bounder Claws for a one-star Rail Blade. Now, unique items like Odd Tentacles, Dark Feathers, and Bounder Claws, you can find people overpaying a good amount for these items. So just like the last trade, I did find another good value trade, which was one of our zero star Petras for a first light and three armor enchants. So getting back into the hero blade trades, I did find someone looking for a Gal hero blade and he offered a two star damage rail blade. Now this is one of the last few hero blades that we do have left from the last video. Alright, so the next trade we're doing here is the 2 star pin deep crusher we add for a 3 star damage grand suda, for a 0 star grand suda, a stone heart, a first light that's enchanted, and a blue gem I believe. Now this guy, I did hit him up from the deep woken discord so I did check his vouchers and he didn't have that many so I did ask him to go first which he was okay with. As always make sure you and the other person you're trading with is comfortable with the trade. 
So I did also find a really good deal here. It was a 40% damage Evan Spear for our 4% damage Hive Lord. And he also did 4 enchants for a 4% damage Railblade at the end of it. So the next trade I did get offered, I was kind of busy so I tried to like kind of brush the guy off. But he was really persistent and I did reread it and notice that he was offering weapon enchants. So with a deal like that, I really couldn't just brush it off. So I went ahead and did that trade for it. So I did find someone looking for a bloodless gem. Now he didn't really, he was new to trading so I just did it for whatever he had which ended up being a one star stone heart. Now while I was trading all day today I was making multiple posts explaining what I had and what I was looking for. Now someone did hit me up asking for the blazing shattered katana for a crypt blade. Now I did make sure he had multiple vouches and he was being for real. I did offer other items, but he said he just wanted the Shattered Katana. Now I did believe that he was just being funny or trying to scam or something like that, but in the end we did get the Crypt Blade. Now as I said before, all you have to do to have a chance of winning this Crypt Blade is 1. Be subscribed to the channel, and 2. Just post your favorite Legendary and the reason why in the comments below. 